But we are here to fight, to be yes. clear. Yes. But I I have a surprise for you. Oh, um, We've prepared something, because if you're not familiar with the rivalry that Shane and I have, I wanted to make it clear, concise, give you all the facts, just bullet points, so everyone's caught up. This is a much smaller table than I'm used to. <laughs> it's so tiny. This is so small. I'm normally like all the way under the table. I feel exposed right now. Everybody can see my legs. <laughs> um, well, welcome everyone to Trevor Talks Too Much. Hello. Thank you, wow. thank you. Um, hi, Shane and Courtney. Hello. Hello, Trevor. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, I'm, I'm so excited to talk too much with you. You're you're excited to be here? That's huge for me. That's really big. <laughs> That's a first. Uh, these are my friends, not just my kind of coworkers. They're my friends. No, we're buddies, dude. Yeah, we hang yeah. out. We hang out. We're good um, friends. Yeah, we. Uh, I was. It's funny. I was talking to Jamie, my producer. Hi, Jamie. Hello. Yes. Um, I'm over if, here in the corner. Yes, Jamie's in the back there. If you ever listen to my podcast, you know that Jamie is the hero, and I'm the villain. Um, and she makes everything work well, and I just kind of talk, and she makes it something kind of cool, which is awesome. Was Jamie doing the Patrick Warburton voice earlier? Who I was who that? Was that? Not that. <laughs> who was doing that voice? That was me. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird hearing my own voice play like through the speaker, because I don't listen to my show. Ever. I like I have I've listened to maybe like two episodes and when I do the Patrick Orburton verse, I'm like, this is great. This is so this is spot on. <laughs> and I just heard it and I was like, I actually did that. That sounds like crap. <laughs> um but no, thank you guys for coming. Thank Thanks you for, for being having here. us, dude. Yeah. It was a huge surprise when Rhett and Link knocked on our door and they're like, Hey you two, do you wanna come along to this cool thing we're making called Mythicon? I was like, what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rhett and Link went to their homes and knocked on their doors and said, you're coming to Austin, Texas. Yeah, there was a knock at the door, and I opened the, I opened the door, and there's just some shoes and legs. And then Rhett lifted the roof off of my house <laughs> and looked in and said, now I'm a big man, and I want you at Mythicon. <laughs> and it was great. Yeah. This is, um, this is my first ever, like, convention. Really? Really? Yeah. Wow. Seriously? I have been to one convention before, and it was an anime convention in Boise, Idaho. Wow. Lit. Which is exactly what you'd expect it to be. I was there for like two hours. Me and my friends were like, wouldn't it be hysterical if we went to anime con in Boise? Um, yeah, and then after two hours, we were like, we got to get out of here. <laughs> we no. got to go. <laughs> no, I bet it was so cool. I, I've always wanted to go to that one. Yeah, the one in Boise, Boise, Idaho. The one in Boise, Idaho. Idaho. Yeah, in downtown Because you know Boise. Napoleon Dynamite's going to be there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's going to be. Well, no, that was in Preston, which is actually in northern Idaho. So okay. It's, like, it's pretty far from Boise. Uh, okay. You obviously okay, don't know you the two. Geography. Okay, you two. <laughs> wow. Uh, you, you guys have probably been to a lot of cons. Um, with Smosh, it's actually been really fun. Like, yeah, I've done Comic Con, VidCon. I love VidCon, but like, it's so cool to be at a place that it's not just a bunch of channels. It's cool to see a bunch of different people coming around who love a bunch of different YouTubers, but to see everybody who's interested in the same community is so, so cool. And I hope that there's like more in the future. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, like a, maybe like a Smosh Con. Maybe like an Ian Con? <laughs> Just Ian Con. <laughs> Just Ian Con. <laughs> oh, God. I love Ian. I remember when I first met Ian, because, like, I mean, I was, like, whatever, 10 years old when Ian and Anthony started Smosh, and I was like, yeah. this is the funniest stuff ever. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! And then I met Ian, and I was like, wow, this is, like, just a dude. <laughs> <laughs> he's just he's this just a dude. Guy. This is just some guy. Um, do you have any like crazy con experiences? Oh my gosh. We were just we were just talking about this. I like I'm trying to remember. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> okay. 
I probably have a couple. There's one that comes to my head immediately, which I think was either my first or second vid. It was my second VidCon. Yeah. And uh, we were like walking out of the convention center. We were like walking towards like a, a shuttle or a bus and a fan who like loved Smosh a lot. Uh, yeah. But she essentially tackled me. <laughs> like uh, she, she literally picked me up off the ground. Like she hugged me and picked me up off the ground and I didn't know what was happening. Wow. And she then, picked then you up? She literally picked me up. Well, she was strong. And like pretty she, small. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Wow. I'm kidding, Shane. All right. I'm kidding. We are five minutes okay. in, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the back, the last thirty minutes of this podcast is just us fighting, yeah. physically fighting yeah. into the crowd. Yeah, uh, just rolling around. You're just hearing like Looney Tunes sound effects. <laughs> um, but uh, she set me down and then was just like, "I'm a huge fan, like whatever." And I was just like, "Okay." Like, <laughs> uh, but that was crazy. Um, uh, otherwise, I feel like they've been pretty chill. I will say, I'm sure there's a lot of people here who've been to Comic-Con. Uh, yeah. I, my experience at Comic-Con is, I, it's fun, but it's also at times horrifying. Because when you're on the convention center, it's like you're swimming through people. Yeah. It's, oh it is God. so packed that it's, it's, you can barely move. Uh, I don't do well in those situations. I freak out a little bit. I weirdly thrive in those situations because it's like you're kind of like in the thick of the world and like you're yeah. kind of invisible in a way. Yeah. Um, and I love people watching. Uh, conventions are wonderful for people watching, especially when there's cosplay and just see, you just get to look at people and I love doing that. Yeah, yeah. I was sad I missed VidCon because Oh like, yeah, you didn't go this year. Growing up in Idaho, like I said, there's not a lot of cons that come through. We didn't have a lot. And then I moved to LA and then the freaking Pangea happened and we're all stuck inside for two years. And so then nothing was going on, and I was like, oh, I moved to L.A., and now I get to sit in my apartment. <laughs> Which I'm, like, not saying that I would have done anything else. Like, I probably... I was going to say, that was what I was doing before <laughs> the Pangea. Yeah, but I want to go... And then, yeah, I missed VidCon this year because I, like, went home to visit my family. That's so lame. Ew. That's yeah, gross. Lame. Oh, God, that sucks. But who knows? Maybe next year. I'll, next year I'll make it to VidCon. I think what's cool about some conventions is is when you are doing cosplay, everybody's famous. Like I love it so much because when you come, when you show up with a cool costume, you have to like just stop. And I've seen this with people before where they just have to stop, and people are just taking pictures of them, and it's just you get to show your talents or yeah. just like show what you're passionate about. It's so yeah. Cool. I got a great Naruto costume. I was Naruto for Halloween. Actually, no, it was. It was 2020, so it was, like, Halloween, the first year of the pandemic, and, like, I just dressed up just to take pictures in my apartment and then, like, sit on my couch and watch a movie. Yeah. That's I was like, awesome. ooh, I'm going to get a costume for this year where I'm not leaving my home. Yeah, I did that. I did the same thing. Yeah. I did like, uh, did, like, the... One of the exes from Scott Pilgrim. Uh, what's her name? The the one with the the with the sword the belt, the belt sword. What's her name? Her name's I, like Rocket or something, right? Someone knew, someone said it. Roxy. 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 Yeah. yeah. Took those pictures in my apartment, posted yeah. them, and did not go outside. It's yeah. sad, but it I was is. like, I love I love any excuse to dress up. Yeah. Uh, well, the great part is, is like now I know I've just got a Naruto costume that I can reuse. You have yeah. that. If anyone I, ever makes you mad and they're like, Hey, meet me here, and we're gonna fight. You know if you get dressed up in that and you show up, they're going to be scared. Yeah. They'll oh, be like, yeah. uh-oh. They're going to be you so mean business. scared. I mean, I'm a pretty formidable opponent. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell <laughs> if anybody wants to fight. <laughs> I do have a convention story. I, it's actually, it was my first VidCon ever. Uh, you remember Dark Cube? Yes, I do remember Dark Cube. Yes. This is a weird, it was a weird, weird inside but joke. But it was so at Smosh. fun. So it was our first VidCon ever. Like the whole crew was there. OG Smosh Games. Everybody was all together. And for some reason, like some places had, you know, like when you buy a drink, they'll have those like light up rainbow ice cube things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all just like kept them with us, and it was nighttime, and we were walking in between events at at VidCon, and we would just throw them into the abyss. <laughs> And then hope that we found them later. Just And that was like something we did throughout the night. And that was just our inside joke. And yeah. it became like 
You know when an inside joke just becomes like almost like a cult? Like yeah. it just becomes the thing that you guys just do. It was mm -hmm. that reminded me. Okay, I'm sorry. Jamie's in the back, and she does this when we record normally. Also, where she says, "Hey, pick up the pace, idiot. We got to keep it moving." But that reminded me of like one of the most infuriating moments of my life. I was at Disneyland, and it was when they just opened up like the Avengers place, and they have the Ant Man themed restaurant. Yeah. And I went there and got food, and they've got, like, this giant pretzel. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, like, you got a drink. Do you want to add, like, these cool, like, light-up things to it, like, for an extra price? And I was like, sure. I looked at the receipt, and it was, like, $15. And I had this little tiny, like, Ant-Man, like, little Pym particle capsule in my drink. And I, I, got, I finished my drink, and I was like... I cannot believe I just <laughs> spent that much money. I like keep, they got gotcha. you. I keep it on my desk at home as a reminder <laughs> of how mad I was <laughs> and how the next time I go to Disneyland, I am not spending a single penny. <laughs> the next time I spend money, you're to going go back, to Disneyland. You're going back to that restaurant <laughs> yeah. so that they can ask you if you want yeah. that little capsule in there so you Just can look like, them in the face and say, absolutely not. No, no, no. I don't. Do you remember my face? <laughs> Do you remember me? I came here three years ago I'll and you sold you. me that damn capsule. <laughs> And you you oh hold God. it up so and they're like they're like you kept it. And you're like yeah <laughs> yeah. That's and you're right. gonna eat it. And they're like I don't want to eat it. And you're like yeah. Oh, so I would say that the three of us are like pretty chronically online. Oh, I'm so online. I'm sick to the bone. Yeah. Yeah. So I I personally, when I spend a lot of time online, because what happens is I get home from work and then it's like five six p.m. and I think you know what. This is a great time to take an hour-long nap, uh -huh. which is not a great idea. And then sure. it's 2 a.m., and I'm like, I'm not tired at all. And then all my friends have gone to bed because they're responsible adults. And I'm like, well, what's there to do? But just go down an time internet to be rabbit online. hole. <laughs> an internet rabbit hole. An internet rabbit hole. Do you guys have any, any internet rabbit holes that you're particularly fond of to go down in those moments? Yes, yeah, so I... I don't know if anybody can relate to this, but you know how on TikTok something crazy happens and then there's a part two to explain everything, right? Yeah. Can I swear? Yeah. I am a part two slut. <laughs> I, I have to know the whole story of anything when someone finds a cat under a car or like, I am about to cut my bangs. I'm like, I have to know the entire story, how you feel, <laughs> where are you now? Like, I love it so much. Yeah, yeah, you just, it's funny because you get to the part two and sometimes you've got to like click into the sound and scroll down like two pages of TikToks to be like, where is the original? Yeah. Or when like people turn off comment sections. Oh. That oh, is yeah. the funniest thing to me. Like someone will post a TikTok that is just so dumb and then they'll turn off the comments, and then you click on the sound, yeah. and it'll just be a black screen that says comment section. Yeah, someone makes a new <laughs> yeah. TikTok yeah. to be in the comment section to, to be their the sound. Comment it's section so, so wild. people can just roast whoever posted that original dumb TikTok. And you're like, I gotta find they the comment section. They find a way. They yeah. always find a way. They always find a way. I actually had a question for it. This is a rabbit hole. Yeah. This is something that I started getting served on TikTok. Uh, there is an Italian deli. This is in Italy. Oh, yeah. And yes, I'm curious I know if anyone else has seen this guy. But he makes sandwiches, and he makes the most unhinged sandwiches I've <laughs> ever seen in my life. He will take an entire ball of mozzarella, he'll chop that in half, slap those on the bread, take a bunch of uh, prosciutto or pr what, like and, and just and just just layers it on, smashes the bread together, stuff shoots out everywhere. It's nuts. <laughs> and he's just speaking Italian the whole time. He's like, mozzarella de buffalo. And he's just like slapping it. And I'm like, these look insane. And all the comments are like, I'm thirsty looking at this. <laughs> My mouth is dry. Like, this is awful. But I, I want you to see them sometime because I want you to critique them as a, yeah. as a cook. Shane's um, rabbit hole is just, dude, I found this crazy sandwich. <laughs> I found the craziest sandwich. Uh, I do get served a lot of cooking TikTok stuff, yeah. but most of it is always out in the middle of the woods. Like, it's yeah, some guy cooking. Yes, it's some it. guy cooking, but he has to cook on a hot stone over a, a fire yeah. in the middle of the Rocky Mountains. And I'm like, do you not have a kitchen? Like, just cook there. But yeah. it looks incredible. And I'm like, I can't 
this isn't like instructional for me because I can't go out to the middle of the woods yeah. with uh, five heads of garlic and, yeah. and a slab of steak and cook out there. No, I, I, there was this guy in high school that I used to watch all the time. It was like, you know how people watch like videos on YouTube or certain channels to, like help them fall asleep? This was that for me. Like I, it was this guy and he would just like go out into the woods and his knife was just this like hunk of obsidian. Okay. Like sharpened obsidian, okay, and he just start like cutting potatoes and like frying stuff, and he just do these like really close up shots of just like he's just got like a pot out on a fire in the middle of the woods. He's like going to a babbling creek and scooping up some water to like, but, and it was just the most calming thing for me, and I just fall asleep. Watch. Wow. wow. Yeah. I wonder if there's like. Makeup routines in the middle of the woods, you know. Like, <laughs> we should we should explore this. Yeah. We should Today do more I'm things in the woods. I'm trying to impress Sasquatch. Um, <laughs> hopefully they this see. This is me. my Sasquatch look. Going to meet him. <laughs> Holding um, up a rock, just like. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm going to smear my foundation on with. It's just a leaf. <laughs> um, I do have an actual rabbit hole. I fell down this year. Like yeah. actual weird rabbit hole. Um, have you, you've probably heard of The Back Rooms? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, we did a sketch about it on Smosh recently. Cause Nobody I, watched I'd, it, it's I'd fine. wanted. I watched it. I'd wanted to make it for Thank like you. a year, because I've, I've been great. obsessed with it. Um, you really did, you really pushed to make that for I, a long time. I got obsessed with The Back Rooms, so basically, for those who don't know, it's like, you know how in video games, if you like, your character clips out of the, the yeah. game, and you clip like out of the whatever, and it glitches out, it's kind of like, what if that happens in real life, and Effectively, the internet decided that you end up in this infinite liminal space that looks like an abandoned office building. Yeah. With fluorescent lights and like, and it's all just a little uncomfortable. Like yellow wallpaper. Yeah, yeah, it's just really uncomfortable. But that's just level zero or one. And it turns out there's like oh, nearly infinite levels. Yeah. And they, people have like detailed what all these levels have. And they've even gone through all the people that are in every level. There's like a cult that exists that, yeah. that they worship this like parrot or this parakeet. Um, and there's, there's levels eventually that are just open fields with dragons. Oh. There's all sorts of stuff. There's the he pool rooms. He knows a rooms. lot. <laughs> there's eventually levels yeah, that are the pool deep, rooms man. and they have water. Yeah. But it only goes like knee deep and yeah. you have to get through those. See, real, this really has been a rabbit hole. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I spent Damn. the whole night and I kept being like, oh, there's another level. And you get, <laughs> you, you get to the end of this Wikipedia page for level 372 and it's like, and then if you do this, you end up in level 375. And you're like, what? Okay. <laughs> but they sometimes bring you back to level two. And then you might but, end up at level 999. It's all over the place. Yeah, you sound crazy. Yeah. I am. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> I was there, man. To me. I saw the these rooms. levels, man. I saw the back rooms, man. Dude, I saw them, man. I the, saw level 35, man. <laughs> The, Elmo was there. The most I know about the back rooms is like the videos that Matt Pat has done on it. That makes sense. Oh my god! Shout out sense. to Matt Pat. I highly, <laughs> I highly recommend like taking a look at it, looking it up on the internet. Yeah. It's a fun rabbit hole. It's cool. It's one of those things that like if you stumble upon one of those really popular videos that's like about the back rooms, where just someone is filming a video with their friends and then they all of a sudden are just in there by themselves. It's just like. You just kind of submit to this experience, like, okay, this is the back rooms. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but it seems endless. And well, there's this like genre on YouTube. It's called analog horror, but it's like that's I think that's the, yeah, yeah. It's these people that just like independently make these YouTube videos that detail the most just like screwed up scenarios and weird stuff. There's like the the Mandela catalog. Is that one? Cool. Wow. Um, yeah, the back rooms is one. Um, Petscop is another one. Never wow, heard I've, that I've word I've never before. heard of this, but I love that there are people out in the crowd that are like, yes. It's like... Yes, that's my favorite. Yeah, no, there's these whole channels that like people just create these like super like well-detailed stories based around these like things that like are kind of real life, but it's called analog, and, and you watch, and it. there'll just be like 30 videos on one channel, and it just goes, Matt Pat does a lot of videos on him. That's why I okay. know about him. And he goes through all the... He, he puts it's just the kind of the nice video version of, like, creepypastas. Yeah, and stuff kind like of. That. I love that stuff. 
I um the one the one rabbit hole that I really go down is like pretty depressing. Okay. It's like very existential, but I don't know if anybody's ever been on Wikipedia and seen the Wikipedia page for the timeline of the far future. One, one guy. person. Dead silence. One man. One person. That was a quiet crowd just then. That is huge. One guy. No, yeah. so <laughs> the future. <laughs> the Love fu- it. Future. <laughs> Nicole's sitting over there, and I was hoping she would laugh at that. We no. make a lot of sponge. She hates reference. the future. <laughs> no, so like it's this Wikipedia page, and basically scientists decided that the best use of their time was to take all of the knowledge that they had about the universe and how it works and detail how over the next like quadrillion years mm-hmm. things would happen. So it like goes down. It's like a bullet point list of like in 1,000 years, this is going to happen. In 2,000 years, this is going to happen. And it goes all the way down basically until they predict like the collapse of the universe. Like wow. every star in the universe has turned into a black hole and they've all sucked each other up and the universe like it's just like the second big bang. It rebirths itself. And how does that make you feel? Like <laughs> the most in insignificant speck (laughs) of like I just sit there reading for hours about how like oh yeah in one trillion years the earth will finally be sucked up by the sun as it is turned into like a dwarf like giant star something like that and I'm just like I'm nothing (laughs) I am I'm nobody I am nothing I gotta wake up in four hours to do my silly cooking videos oh my god Thank, I'm glad you enjoy the silly cooking videos because it's the only thing keeping me sane. <laughs> but that's just a game theory. So. <laughs> but that's just a, a theory. theory. A game theory. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Wow. Uh, Matt Pack, come on the show or whatever. <laughs> I think that's what I say when I reference someone. I say, come Cute. on the show, and then maybe he'll come. Yeah, maybe. 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 He's a nice guy. I mean, you guys came on the show. That's pretty huge. We did. Thank you. Did you you tell us to? Yeah. (laughs) I mean, Rhett grabbed me and threw me (laughs) from Los Angeles all the way here to Texas. It's Uh, crazy being... Like a javelin. Yeah. It's crazy being a guy like... I'm, I'm thin. I'm wiry. I'm not like a big guy. I tell people that I don't feel like I give off tall energy. Like about when we were doing our meet and greets, like... Half the people that came in said, you're so much taller than I expected. And I was like, thank you, I know. I seem really small. I've got a small personality. Um, But it's crazy being like, I'm six foot four. Last time I went to the doctor, that's what they measured me in at. Wow. And then I said, yeah, thank you, everyone. Pretty big accomplishment for me. I know. Thank you. Thank you to my dad. Um, You're like if they sliced the, the rock vertically. And then <laughs> got rid of one of the sides. Yeah, but like into <laughs> thirds. Yeah, into thirds. I think thirds. I'm a third as wide as the rock. Wow. Um, but yeah, then I stand next to Rhett, and I'm just like, hey, Dad. <laughs> hey, I hey, think partner. everyone does that. Yeah. And then I stand next to Lincoln, and I'm like, hey, pal. <laughs> How's it going, kiddo? <laughs> I remember first meeting them, and I thought, like, Link was, like, 5'8". Like, That's I, what he, everyone you, he, thinks. He, he, it looks like that. Yeah. And then you're like, oh. Standing next to Rhett, anyone looks 5'8". Yeah. yeah. But Rhett did a great job of saving those uh, hobbits in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> and taking them out of that forest, you know, he was really yeah. fantastic. For the next segment of our show, we're going to roast my boss. We just roast <laughs> the Rhett. Yeah. Link wears glasses. He's blind. Hey. Speaking of roasting, you because you were on our Rhett and Link is Dead funeral series. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. You were arguably the best one on that one. Dude, if you have And you were seen, a last second. Like, that was a last second thing. Yeah, Josh was supposed to be. So if you haven't seen on Smosh, they do a series where they have a funeral, which is basically where they put someone in a casket, and then they have, like, ten people just roast them. Yeah. And then they're just sitting in the casket, like, half laughing, half crying. 
<laughs> but they did it for Rhett and Link, and Josh was supposed to roast them, but he wasn't available. So they're like, hey, Trevor, you want to do it? And I was like, yeah, I got some jokes. <laughs> um, we had to build. We had to build a second, even longer casket. Yeah. To make that episode work, I, you can you can guess who it was for. Yeah. But if you want to see me make like way too many jokes about Rhett having missionary sex with his <laughs> wife, go watch the video. Um, that episode got like way hornier than I thought it was going to. I love I yeah, that. My your, bad. <laughs> your bit made Ian uncomfortable. Do yeah, you know how hard Ian that is to do? Stop across yeah. the set. <laughs> It was un- like when I was doing it, you know, I was in the zone. I was like, this is hilarious. They're in the casket laughing. And then the next day I went to work and had to look him in the eyes. And I was like, I didn't think this through. No. <laughs> no. I didn't think this. And then Rhett, wherever he is, screw you. We're in- <laughs> wow. We're in our like company wide, like monthly meeting. And Link wasn't there. So it was just Rhett leading it. And he's like, yeah, if you didn't know, we did a video over on Smosh, and Trevor had some really nice jokes. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there, like, head buried in my hands. Yeah. And then he looks me in the eye, and he says, Trevor, I want you to know that Jesse and I had missionary sex <laughs> in your honor last night. I was like, dude, is that your way of asking me to quit? I like, I don't know what you want from me. My bad. Sorry. Yeah, it was, um, it's still hard and he still gives me crap. Bad phrase. I don't even have to roast you. You're just doing it yourself. You yeah. walked right into the skewer. Yeah, you roasted. My fault. my fault. Um, yeah, no, it's still tough to look him in the eyes. And also, Jessie is just the sweetest person ever. Yeah. And she wasn't there, so it's, like, it's easy to make fun of Rhett, you know? Like, you know, yeah. it's, it's goofy old Rhett. And then the next time I saw Jessie, and I was like, I'm <laughs> deeply sorry. <laughs> I, she tweeted at me when the video came yeah. out, and I was like, I, I don't know what to say. Oh, like, God. I'm just really sorry that you had to hear that and see that. Um, but you know, as the as but you were very funny. You oh, killed it. Thank you. It was thank a great you. episode. If you haven't watched it, if you haven't watched it, please check it out. Yeah, it's funny, um, and you'll know the source of my eternal embarrassment. Um, yeah. So yeah. yeah. Thank you for coming on. By the way, again, I is this over? Yeah, no, it's over. Bye, everyone. No, <laughs> no I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, get um, out. No, we were talking about because like I'm the only show that we have that like consistently has guests. Mm -hmm. And so when we were planning this, we were like, well, who do you want to have as a guest? And I was like, ideally, nobody. Because, <laughs> like, sometimes I'll have a guest on and I've never talked to them before in my life. And it's a crapshoot. Like, sometimes it's like, oh, I vibe with you so good and we're having the best time ever. And then other times I'm like, you're giving me nothing. <laughs> Like, I am getting nothing from you right now. I am putting the entire conversation on my shoulders. Oh, gosh. And they were like, well, you got to have a guest. And I was like, can we just, like, drag Shane and Courtney out to Austin? Because I like them. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, thank you. This yeah. has been great. They're all here for you. Yeah. 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 Oh man, I just started hearing someone yell it out. Yeah. But uh, you know it's fitting because uh, uh, obviously Trevor, you've ruined my life in a lot of ways. Um, on um, yeah, uh, successfully. <laughs> uh, you know I like to tweet on Twitter. Yeah. And uh, you started replying to my tweets saying, "Oh, another banger, another banger by Shane Top for my Carly." Yeah. Uh, well, you know, that happened when I was pooping one day. Um, makes sense. Because, like, Shane and I knew each other before that, and we had fun, and I was like, I see so many people reply to Shane's tweets with these memes that are like, oh, like, and it's just like, there goes Shane again, or whatever, in some funny format. I was like, I feel like I could make one of those. And I just had this funny picture of a cat in my phone. Horrible quality. Yeah, terrible. Deep Very fried, crunchy. Really yeah. deep fried, a yeah. Crunchy cat. 
Um, yeah, if you don't know, Shane and I are bitter rivals. Yes. Um, we fought multiple times, greased in the parking lot. Yeah. Always to a draw. That's actually why he had to come, so we could finally settle it. Yes. But I, I have a surprise for you. Oh, um, We've prepared something, because if you're not familiar with the rivalry that Shane and I have, I wanted to make it clear, concise, give you all the facts, just bullet points, so everyone's caught up. Um, for the the next part, because we're gonna you know we're gonna debate each other here in a second. Um, but yeah, if you'll turn your attentions to any of the screens, God. I've got a little something prepared for you. In the year of our it's Lord 2021, a young and rather strapping lad created a comical <laughs> photographic image that would go on to terrorize one Shane Robert Top, best known for his work on iCarly, So Random, The Goldbergs and the small YouTube channel Smosh. The skies were clear on the afternoon of March 22nd, 2021, when Shane date? innocently tweeted an updog joke. Little did he know that this tweet would dramatically change the course of his life. It was under this tweet that Trevor Joseph Everts, the debonair culinary producer of Mythical Entertainment, would first reply with the meme that destroyed Shane. Another banger. There it is. Another banger by Shane from iCarly. Those is. words would echo in Mr. Top's head for eternity. That blurry photo of an exorbitantly wide cat would haunt Shane's dreams and thoughts until the day he died. In his own words, he knew life. it was immediately going to ruin his life. Another banger, another banger by Shane Top from Icon. In the months that followed, Trevor became widely renowned as one of the finest men connoisseurs, while Shane, well, he fell into a pit of madness and despair and desperately plotted his revenge. While Shane schemed and took cheap shots at Trevor's young age and dashing good looks, I can't believe Kitchen hired a seven-year-old. Trevor let the seeds of his work take root. Shane's friends and even his so-called fans made new iterations of the meme that would be spammed under every oh tweet he made. Another banger by Blank. Shane. Another banger by Shane Top from my car. On occasion, Shane himself <laughs> would succumb to the meme, tempted by the allure of yet another banger. While Shane wallowed in his grief and madness, Trevor continued to thrive, gaining massive amounts of likes and followers with every new assault on the app Super Shane Twitter account. Now here we sit with bated breath as Trevor prepares to put the final nail in the coffin, ending the career of the beat down, broken shell of the former iCarly guest. Wow. Um, yeah. Thank you. Wow. Uh, yeah, that, that sucked. Yeah. That was painful to have to relive that right here. Yeah, that was it all just wrapped up, you know, in a neat little bow. That was um, perfect. Wow, it was really nice to relive all of that, honestly. It was great. I didn't even realize until we were like, well, we're going to have Shane on. We got to talk about our rivalry. And then I was just like scrolling through like sh all of Shane's tweets. And I was like, oh, like I kind of did ruin his life a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They've gotten creative. They have. There is. Yeah. It's. It's transcended into a crazy sphere. Yeah. Uh, it, it's nuts. Which, like, again, I was taking, <laughs> and just like, how could I make a funny meme to reply to his tweet? And then it became this whole thing. That, I feel like those are the jokes that somehow latch on. Like the jokes oh, that yeah. I spend the most time working on do not get any traction. No yeah. but, traction. <laughs> but like, for instance, when I when I went out and did try not to laugh one time, and I just was like, oh. I got a dumb joke that I'll do for Noah, and I went out with a red phone and was just like, I'm just gonna call every pizza place <laughs> and say they're my favorite. Yeah. I, I did not expect people to like it, yeah. like, but it, boy, it really, it really caught on. Yeah, uh, I remember you telling me about that. Like, we just saw each other one time after I posted the meme. He's like, no, that's gonna be a thing. He's like, those are the dumb jokes that people latch on to, yes. and they're gonna hold on to it and cherish it and recreate it for years. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you're you're my favorite pizza place. Okay. <laughs> you're okay. my favorite pizza place. <laughs> that's actually one of my favorite hoodies that I own. So I have the light hoodie. blue one. Or yeah, the... I have the light blue, like kind of crystal yeah. wash one with the pizza on the back. That's pretty one. awesome. Yeah, it's a pretty good, good hoodie. That, I've seen some people here today wearing it. It's, yeah, it's dope. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the slush cult collab. Yeah. That was like um, our first on. collab. Yeah. we gotta do more of those. But we are here to fight. To be yes. clear. Yes. Um, yeah. So in preparation, Jamie asked all of us to make 
memes. Like we're, you know, we're all internet people. We think we're funny. Yeah. Um, and so we all created some memes and we're gonna show them to you and we're gonna need your help to decide who wins because we have to settle it. I'm tired of being Shane's enemy. I'd like to be his friend. I'd like to hold him in a warm embrace. Okay. And, and you know, is by that, the fireside that... under a nice blanket with a mug of hot cocoa. Okay. Okay. And um, what was I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'd fault. love to see a passionate hug at the end of this show today. Yeah. Let's see. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> you have to hash it out first. Um, but yeah, so we made some memes. Jamie, are we? Do you think we're ready to cue those up? Is it time? Oh, we're ready. It's meme time. Okay, it's who's up time. first? Shane's up first. Okay, so this is Shane's his first one. I guess I don't know how many made. Yeah, uh, Trevor pulling bread out of the oven. <laughs> 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 it is truly unreal how hot you are. Like, it blows my mind. Uh, that's not as much a roast as just, like, that's, a, that's an insight into your real life. It, it is. Because here's the thing. When I bake bread, I get really excited. <laughs> and I don't wait for it to cool down. And I make the bread, and I'm like, I got to see what this looks like inside. <laughs> like... I gotta see what the crumb is like on this, and then I slice into it, and my hands. You managed just... to make this weird. Yep. I do that with everything. It wasn't weird before. <laughs> what you may you use an Adam Lev Levine Levine? How do you say his name? Levine. Adam Levine. Levine. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, you just accused me of being horny for bread. I mean. I mean, yeah. who isn't? <laughs> like... Yeah. yeah. I assume that's the reason anyone becomes a baker. Yeah, pretty much. Well, it's like, you know, bread is so warm, and it's like... Okay, when okay we don't <laughs> need again. to, like, get into the science of why we're horny for <laughs> bread. I was going to say it's nice to give it a hug when it comes out of the okay. oven. It's not okay. It wasn't going to be weird. It's okay. already weird. Okay. All right. So that's, like, the, the best you got? That's not the best that I got. <laughs> that's one of them. I okay. think it's very funny. Do we have another? Sh do we have We're another Shane one to queued it. up? We have, there's, there's others. There's uh, others. Don't worry, we can we get back to it. Two, well, in the interest of time, we have one each. Okay, we only have one. Don't of Don't even start. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Was this another banger? Um, okay. Okay. All right. Congratulations. Another <laughs> banger. Thanks. Another <laughs> banger by Shane from iCarly. <laughs> wow. Wow. He was in an episode of my show. He said, it, he, he said the title of the movie. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, so is Courtney's up next, then? Courtney's is okay, up Courtney's next. Okay, Courtney's is up right. next. I peppered in some memes, pretty, too. Pretty good one. Pretty good one, I, I would say. Let's see this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're supposed to roast Trevor. <laughs> that's, not, that's not fair. Yeah, how does it feel that Courtney just dogged on you, too? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah, I love I like pigeons. That. I like the, the the carrier pigeon bringing an important message. You can't uh, escape it from no. the front. I like to think he's coming from a war. <laughs> they're sending it. They're sending a carrier pigeon back from the front lines. Uh, just to say they that they desperately need reinforcements. <laughs> But this is also very funny. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Or they're like, we got one piece of paper. What do we write on it? <laughs> <laughs> we have one chance. Oh, no, this will be funny. The queen will think this is hilarious. Um, is it time for my meme? Okay, last but not is least. Is it just the cat everybody. again? <laughs> That's Come on. so not cool. Thank you. That's so It not happened. Cool. Thank you. I yeah. don't know. I figure I'll never be able to top it, which is kind of sad for me. It's like, you know, When you I've peak peaked. in high school, yeah. yeah. Like, I peaked already. Like, I don't think there's anything that I could reply to Shane's tweets <laughs> with that would just catch fire like this. Um, so, yeah, that's my meme. Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I have others. I have more. Are so, we showing more? Are we showing more, Jamie? Um, is there... No. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Shane. You'll Looks like they didn't make the cut. Ho- however, they weren't funny enough. Sorry, bud. However, I will uh, show each once more, and then we're going to get, we have to see the crowd. Yeah, we're going to get a, a crowd reaction from each one to see who wins. That was, I, my other two were way more roasty. That one was like well, the nicest one. Sorry, buddy. Okay, I'll say one of them was a was a photo of Machine Gun Kelly, and it said Trevor, basically. <laughs> <laughs> so, so deal with that. So take that. I need an emo girl. <laughs> Okay, you bring up Machine Gun Kelly. I it's funny because there was actually a Machine Gun Kelly song that I unironically listened to a lot when I was in like ninth grade, and then he just fell off the face of the earth until he started dating Megan Fox, and I was like, I remember this guy. I don't know much about him other than didn't he have like a career and then Eminem like murdered him? Yeah, yeah. And then he like has come back, but yeah. he's like a completely new guy. Yeah, now he's like a punk artist. He's like, yeah. I'm never rapping again. <laughs> when I heard his name, I thought he was like a warlord or something. I had no <laughs> idea who he was. Well, I think he's named after a real mafia criminal okay. from like back in the day. Like, well, that okay. And he's just also a real skinny guy. white dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks exactly the same. Yeah. Machine Gun Kelly just disappears every 10 years yeah. and comes back. <laughs> Terrifying. He's a Highlander. All right, we're going to need your help, though. You have to clap for the meme that you think is the uh, winner. We know what's going to happen. <laughs> well, we I still want to see it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here it comes. He's so okay. mad. Here it comes. Yeah. Okay. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Woo! yeah. All right. All right, let's get it over with. Come on. Yeah! People are popping champagne in the audience right now. <laughs> Someone just stood up and they peed their pants. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. This is really big for me. <laughs> not cool. Oh, it's man. Not cool. Another banger. But sadly to say, I'll never do anything better than that. So. No, that is well, your so best You yeah. never know. You never know. Yeah, it's that was... um. Work. People have. They've done a lot with that. I mean, it's it's kind of my legacy now. I might try again, you know, in a couple of years once it's died down a little bit. Yeah. We'll see. But it's been fun. How does it feel to be like a loser? <laughs> <laughs> I want you to start introing every guest on this show with that. <laughs> no matter who it is. Be like, oh, thanks for being here. Be uh, loser. What's it like to be a loser? <laughs> So do you guys feel better now? Do you feel like this is conflict has been resolved and like maybe there's like a hug? I mean, no. Like, Should we hug? Should we hug? All right, we can hug. Okay. I'll hug you. All right, fine. Get up. It's happening. Okay, I'm stuck. Friend. This is Get out. For a second, I thought Shane was on his tippy toes, but. I love you guys. The real star of the show is Courtney for putting up with both of us. Yeah. <laughs> It's very entertaining watching boys fight. I don't yeah. know why. Shane would beat me in a fight, though. That's why I, I won't have, actually I fight actually him. I actually don't know if that's... I don't know. <laughs> I don't feel confident saying I could beat anyone in a well, fight. Well, come on. There's some mud out there. Let's grease them up. You know... <laughs> Yeah, if you want to see Shane and I fight, there's going to be an unmarked trail into the forest. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be greased up, <laughs> yeah. covered in mud, <laughs> and we'll just be out there hanging and out. And they for... find our bodies the next day murdered by wild hogs. <laughs> Both of us. Yeah. Just impale. <laughs> um, yeah, so on that note, uh, Jamie, is this like where we end the show or whatever? Is that what we do? You know, just if you feel like it. Oh, okay. Well, thank you so much, both of you. Thanks for, for being having here. us. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out with us. Yeah, yeah thank you. You guys are, you guys are, you guys so are cool. awesome. 
seriously. This is so fun. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for coming to watch. This has been amazing. I hope you've had an amazing weekend. I hope you're having yeah. fun. Um, yeah. yeah, and thanks for hanging out. It's Mythicon 2020 Jam! Yeah! 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 Um, yeah, this has been Trevor Rose Shane live on stage at Mythicon, a.k.a. Oh. Trevor talks too much nice. about how much better he is than Shane. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much, everyone. I love my Carly! Yeah!